What's going on guys? Killer6 back with some Borderlands. This time we're playing the pre-sequel and this is going to be episode one of my let's play the pre-sequel and uh, let's just jump right into it here. We're uh, we're floating around uh, the flying sanctuary here and this is how the pre-sequel begins. It's uh, told in uh, Thena's point of view as a flashback of the events that happened after Borderlands 1 and before That's Borderlands 2. Do, Let's just listen in. From childhood as an Atlas assassin with over a thousand successful jobs to your name. Damn near killed my two best men before they brought you in. She said we're her best men. That makes me feel good. <laughs> Ow. Here's how it is, Athena. I'm going to ask those you a single up. question. And if I don't like your answer, you will die. Aim at the prisoner. Now, I will ask you this only once. Why? That is a long story. Oh, yeah, it is. But it's a good story. After the fall of General Knox, I wandered Pandora as a hired gun. One day, I received a job offer from a low-level Hyperion programmer. Come to Handsome the moon, Jack. he said. Hunt a vault, be a hero. I didn't trust Hyperion. But I was too hungry to pass up a paying job. And what did you find? I don't know if that was a second question. Insanity. And a hero. That's not a term you hear for Handsome Jack very often. A hero. So we're going to play as the Doppelganger, which is uh, Handsome Jack's body double. And we're going to call ourselves Jackass. <laughs> because that's perfect. Um... And the uh, the doppelganger. Well, you'll you'll get some background on that here as we start this. Uh, hello, hello. claptrap unit. That is not claptrap. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. I get the uh, where I pre-ordered. I get the, the bonus weapons. So these are gonna be uh, better than anything that I'm gonna find. It's gonna actually make me a little bit overpowered here at the beginning, <laughs> but you know what? I, I'm not too uh, I'm not too worried about that. I don't mind being overpowered. This uh, shotgun is especially good, by the way. Um, let's try the, uh, the hand cannon. I don't think I ever used this hand cannon really. So the uh, the story essentially is uh, being told from Athena's point of view, or not from her point of view, but she's telling the events of what happened. Um, and you're kind of playing those events, if if you will. And, uh, yeah. Let's go. Little blue and white claptrap unit. Yeah, they are. So the Lost Legion is, uh, well, you'll, you'll learn more about that, too. I'm not going to... don't want to spoil the story if you've never played this. I guess you'll get to like pick up on parts of it as a play along. Yeah, I suck with this gun. <laughs> Let's use the shotgun. Oh god. Oh, I thought the one shot would take me. Right. Oh my aim, potato aim. <laughs> it's been a little while. There we go. All right. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this here. Uh, I gotta get the, the jumping down again. So what was I talking about? Lost Legion? Yeah, you'll learn about them. We won't spoil anything. Yeah. Get tea bag, sucker. Yeah. Nice boots. Yeah, he loves you. <laughs> Handsome Jack does not like you. Sorry. So what's interesting is, um, like I was saying, this is being told from Athena's um, recollection of events. And you get to actually live out those events, I guess, technically. But uh, what what's really interesting is playing as the doppelganger. You get some interesting dialogue between here and Jack. Uh, between him and Jack. Hey, my body double finally arrived. Wow, you sound really attractive. Distractingly so. Awkward. <laughs> Check out Jack without the mask there. Looking all handsome. You know who he looks like? He looks like Tabuscus. <laughs> oh, God, if you don't know who Tabuscus is, and 
I'll let you look that up. Ooh. Oh, man. That was quite the punch right there. <laughs> Meanwhile, and then they give him the ginger kicks. <laughs> like, we don't really... They don't want to hurt him too bad. Yeah, well, I just killed all these guys, so... Won't be surrendering just yet. Uh, oh, <laughs> dud grenade. That's not gonna do any good. <laughs> oh, man. I'm surrounded. Eh. Survived, yeah. Oh, I need some health. Uh, let's open up these chests. No health, no health, no health. We need some health. There we go. Tiny bit. <laughs> Barely any. Get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The the mechanics on this game are actually really good. Yeah, we'll we'll get you eventually there, Jack. Don't worry. I like to keep him waiting. Cause it's funnier. That's cool. I'll just bleed over here internally for a while. Here, it's a super fun way to pass the time, but yeah, yeah, don't mind me. Just the guy who hired you. Sorry, am I being passive aggressive? My bad. That must be a symptom of almost dying. But no, no, I'm, I'm sure you've got a, a lot of important stuff to do. I'll just sit over here and try to keep ranting your organs from Oh, man. Up. Jack, you're hey. hilarious. All right, all right. I'll save you eventually. Just got tea bag oh, you a little die. bit. He'll talk it for my pay. <laughs> All right, so we'll save Jack here and then uh Holy crap. level up, baby. Life. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see, Heart I think at level three I get my first uh skill Heart. point. Actually. Look, these crazy bastards attacked Helio Station right after I sent for you guys. If we can drive them off, we'll be free to go after that vault on the moon's surface. All right, vault on the moon's surface. That sounds good, right? Wonder what's in that vault. We'll find out by the end of this playthrough, huh? Well, not this particular episode, and we're not gonna. <laughs> we're gonna play the whole story in one episode. I'm so glad he explains to me what a shield does. I guess maybe some people just played this without playing the other games. I don't know. That would be strange. I would think. I don't know. I don't think I would want to play... I don't think I'd want to start with this game. You know what I mean? Like, as good as the... The, the mechanics, the the actual gameplay of this... Let's um, these turrets. The actual gameplay of this game is really good. Um, the problem that this game suffers from mostly is... Uh, number one, very confusing maps. Let's, let's listen in on jackasses i think i don't know but the first person to shoot her in the head gets a high five in a turbo mansion turbo mansion baby i'm gonna kill her so i can get a turbo mansion um but yeah the 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 thing that this game suffers from more than anything is the confusing maps um and just poor level design in general and a lot of son of a taint a lot of lack of uh, fast travels where they would really be needed you know, there, there's some areas in uh, Borderlands 2 hey, where you have to run quite a bit. Shoot Hello, that chicken in the head! So here's another thing that's interesting. Like, everybody refers to him as Jack, but here in a minute, somebody's going to call him John. Um, you'll see. Yeah, that's freaky. See, his name is Clive. I can, I can read that alien language. Just trust me, his name's Clive. Okay, that's unnerving. Run! Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, perfect. She destroyed the ships. We gotta yeah. find another way out the station. What the hell was that? And I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> uh, no idea, but I get the feeling it could kill us with its brain, so, you know, uh, <laughs> keep running. Jack, what the hell is going on? So he calls him Jack there. reports of alarms all across Helios. This part's pretty funny. Sir, nothing. So I'm gonna let them talk this out. I'm not gonna interrupt it. Need I remind you that you are there to observe Pandora, nothing more. If you incur any damages to the Helio space station, I will personally. Ah, oh, sorry, sir. We're losing connection. I. Uh, sorry. <laughs> 
What? I called you an asshole because I thought I'd hung up. <laughs> My bad. We will speak again, John. And see, he calls him John. What's that all about? See, I haven't played Tales from the Borderlands, so maybe I'm missing something there. Um, if you want, in the comments below, if you're watching this video, let me know. Let me know if I'm missing something there uh, by not having played all the way through the pre-sequel. And uh, I, I will... I don't know, maybe maybe don't, because I, I do want to play the, the Tales from the Borderlands, because I don't, I don't want any spoilers. Did I say Tales? Or did I say pre-sequel? Don't, don't spoil it for me. Let's just not. Let's just not. <laughs> Alright, so uh, sometimes I'm going to have issues where I'm going to have... Uh, I'm gonna have trouble like concentrating on like what I'm talking about, and I'll probably get distracted and, and forget to uh, go back to what I was talking about. So just bear with me on that. Uh, good, everybody's dead. So. Well, we killed them all, so you don't have to worry about that. Just kind of waiting on you over here. Just take your time, Jack. No big deal. Look how he runs. Like, are you even trying? <laughs> uh, let's see. What, what's down here? I've never gone down here before, I don't think. What we got? Oh, wait. Here, here we go. Uh, junk, junk, and junk, and junk. But I can sell this stuff, get some money. So, nothing. Here, nothing. Hmm, I wonder if anything's over there. Ah, let's not worry about that. Let's just keep moving. Let's not get too distracted. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try not to get too distracted. That's. One of the things that happens to me a lot is I just okay, lose focus. Well, like, uh, I think I was talking about the things that uh, failed uh, what is this with this uh, game, but I got distracted again. Basically a huge gun that shoots like every time I, I want to like tell you guys about something, hour. like they start talking about something that I'm, I'm interested in, so I, I start listening uh, instead of. Survivable? Is it? I don't know. That's pretty funny. Be a pretty cool way to die, though, huh? <laughs> it would be a pretty cool way to die. Yeah, good point. Alright, so now we gotta kill some more bastards here. Let's shoot the robot in the leg. Take him out. <laughs> Except he's not against us. There we go, level 3. Now we got a skill point. Uh, ooh, yeah! Wrecked your ship, bro. Oh, that'd have been cool if, like, when that landed on him, if it killed him, you know what I mean? <laughs> that would be amazing. I had suspicions. Money, revenge, that said. Whoever needed a reason out here. Yeah, whoever needed a reason to kill people. <laughs> Dang, girl. Hostile. Um, yeah, so the main problem with this game is just the sheer amount of running that you have to do. Whereas, like, in Borderlands 2, there are some areas where you do have to run quite a bit. But, you know, for the most part... It's not as bad. Here's what his action skill does. You get these little hologram jacks here. But uh, they actually fight and uh, and will do damage. Uh, unlike Zero's uh, action skill where it just kind of like shoots out and distracts people. Of course, you know, you can activate the, the perk on Zero's thing where uh, the, his deception will explode and do electrocute damage, which they've actually buffed in, in recent, actually with the last patch that they did. There's more stuff we can sell. Uh, I can't go under there. I don't remember where all the vault symbols are, so, you know, don't get mad at me if I don't point any out. It's just that I honestly don't remember. <laughs> it's been that long since i played. <clears throat> all right, and we're getting ready to fight this dude. Be cleansed with heat! Uh, flame knuckle. I guess. Flame knuckle. This guy can drop the pyrophobia, which is a rocket launcher that does fire damage. But I don't think you can respawn him since he's essentially part of like the opening story point, and you can't come back here. Uh, to, to kill this guy, you want to shoot the tanks on his back. That makes him get out of the suit. And then once he's out of the suit, he's just a big squishy bag of shit. So. <laughs> so it was pretty easy to kill. Especially with his bulb up, dude. Dang, this shotgun's amazing. And we didn't get anything awesome here, but that's alright. So now we got to kill the uh, the rest of the, the flunkies in this area. And that will take us 
basically to the end of this first episode. I'm going to just call it here because uh, we're over about 15 minutes. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. Hit subscribe for more. And we will be back with some more Borderlands, the pre-sequel, every Monday uh, playing through the story. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Over there. Let's go.